hello guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to learn something actually very interesting we're going to be learning how to detect our facial expressions like human emotions through use, using our artificial intelligence so basically we just get an image and when uh, we're giving the image to our, our ai model our ai model will be able to recognize where the human face is and be able to tell which emotion the person has on his face so basically you can tell if the person is angry the person is sad the person is neutral happy or anything like that the, the, the ai model is able able to tell so we're going to be doing this using python you're going to do this for both the static images and also video uh, video files okay so I have, i've already just opened up i have a file a folder here called facial emotion recognition okay so i'm going to open up this in my vs code and in this video what i simply have in this video i have i have two other folders the image folder which consists consists of simply an image that you're going to try to detect the image of this uh, kid in the image and also we're going to have a video file we're going to try to detect the expressions of the of the of the individuals in within the video okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to start by use by doing it on a static image so let me just go ahead and create a file uh, let me just go and say let me just call it uh static uh image let me just say static image underscore fish uh, uh, facial emotion recognition dot pi okay so facial emotion recognition is also called uh, I, uh, irf okay in python okay so once we have this done let me just close this we need to install a couple of things so the first we need to do we need to go ahead and install uh uh, the, the library that we need so we can just go uh, up here and then try to install that library so i'm just going to go here and open up my vs code uh, i'm going to uh, search for uh, ef e, uh, sorry fre python okay so just like this and let's try to find the library the library is this one right here and you can see just say pip install fre which is just used to detect human emotions so i'm just going to copy this and simply go back into my let me just move it uh, right here okay so i have everything right here and let me also move my file this file right here move everything right here okay good so i have my terminal right here i have my coding and then i have my browser good so i want to go ahead and paste the command we just copy this pip install this but before we do this we want to create a virtual environment because i don't want to clutter my google python environment with all this uh, library so i'm going to create a virtual environment and to do that i'm going to simply say python 3 hyphen m vnv and then vnv and then press enter so it's going to create a virtual environment called vnv that you're going to go ahead and use okay so once you do that if you do an ls you can see we have a, now a new folder called vnv Okay, which is the name that we give our virtual environment right there so now we need to activate our virtual environment so we just have to say uh python you just, sorry we have to say simply source and then vnv first slash bin first slash activate okay and then press enter so you can see now the virtual environment is activated we can see the name of the virtual environment within parentheses in front of the terminal right here so one thing you can notice is that uh we didn't have this before before activating the virtual environment okay and uh, one thing i also want to mention is that if you're using windows machine this command is not going to work for you if you're using windows machine you have to simply say pi hyphen m vnv vnv okay so something like uh something very similar to this uh let me just okay bring it back here but what you're going to go ahead and do you're just going to go ahead and simply say pi instead of python 3 this is for windows users but to activate the command for windows to activate the virtual environment for windows users uh, it's a bit different to activate the virtual environment for windows users is a bit different so this command is only going to work for guys who are on linux machine and on the um a macbook so if you're using a windows machine uh, it's going to be a bit different and i forgot the command to activate the virtual environment on the windows because i have not used windows in a bit while so you can just google out a very, very uh, simple command and it's very similar to this one okay so you can just google that out and find how to do it on the windows machine so let's assume that you have a virtual environment uh, activated now let's go ahead and actually install the library which is uh, the a uh, facial emotion recognition library and let's uh, begin to install this is going to be take a bit of time so let's give some bit of time to install and once it's done i'll be back yeah now you can see it's done so we're going to also go ahead and install a couple of things i'm going to say pip uh pip install you're going to also install uh, pandas so once you have pandas installed we're also going to go ahead and, and install tensorflow so you can say uh, pip install uh tensorflow okay and press enter so it's going to take a bit of time and uh, it's going to install tensorflow as well for us so let's give it a bit of time to install all these uh, libraries so once it's done i'll be back recording and one other value that we have is uh, the emotions which is the key and then finally we have the value right here so you can see the different emotion that anger it's basically the emotion so maps to a dictionary and inside there we have a key value pair so we have uh, angry uh, angry which shows the value of anger in the image disgust and then fear happiness uh sadness which is sadness is 71 percent so you can look at the image you can see the child is mostly sad right so that's sadness and we have surprise which is 0.04 percent and then you have neutral which is 0.07 percent so you can see clearly the child the child is sad so you can see it's crying so that's sadness so you can see we have the value for 71 so that's good so how do you get the maximum value of, of the emotions like the maximum value out of 
uh, this dictionary, how can you get the maximum value? You can do it manually, but there's also another way of doing it. So another way of doing it using the code, you just go ahead and say, uh, you can simply say top underscore emotion, uh, uh, comma, and you're going to say also, it's going to return to us with the score. So you're going to say emotion underscore score, which is going to be equals to uh, emotion, the emotion detector dot top, uh, top emotion, and you pass in the image underscore resize. Uh, that's going to return to us the score and then the top emotion. We're going to go ahead and print uh, the top emotion, comma, the emotion uh, score. Yeah, that's we go. So once you have that, let's go ahead and run the code again. So this return to us uh, 71 and the sad emotion to be sad, right? So this is a value we have here, right here, right? So good. Uh, let's go ahead and try this out. So clear the terminal and then try this out. So if you try this out, uh, what you can simply see is going to be the top emotion, which is going to be sadness, and then the its value so you can see we have it right here sadness and it mounts to 71 so good uh, that's how you can detect emotion within a static image again if you want you can draw use the uh, draw a bounding box around this if you want to but i'm not going to do that in this video okay so now let's move, move on to the part we're going to be detecting uh the human emotion instead of a video a video file so i'm just going to go ahead and create this gonna be a video uh video okay underscore image video uh facial emotion uh recognition dot file so this we're going to be using to detect uh, the facial, uh, like the emotion instead of a video. So to do that is actually what we need to do. We need an image file, a video file rather. So in the video file, I have a video right here. So you can just pull up any video that you want. Okay. So you can just go ahead and simply let me just say, uh, let me just say, okay. Let me just go here, doc the documents, uh, desktop, uh, content, it's going to be tutorials. It's going to be called uh, facial emotion recognition. I have the video right here. And if I just play the video, this is just a video of two, uh, two people. So you can see the video, the, the child and then the parent, right? So basically the child, the parent has more, more of a happy expression. So let's see what the, the AI is going to say. So let me just close this image for now. And uh, let's go ahead and try to detect the, 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 simply get the emotion from the video. So I'm going to go ahead and import a couple of things. I'm going to say from uh, EFER, I'm going to go ahead and import uh, FER, just like FER, let me get that right. So, sorry, get that right. So let me just also say from, um, from pandas i'm also going to say from uh fer i'm also going to say import a uh, video just like that and i'm going to say from uh sorry i'm going to import pandas as pd so import uh pandas as a pd so this you can actually store this information uh, you can actually store this information instead of a pandas file like a csv file and then use it for uh, later retrieval to analyze the motion draw a different line graph to show uh, the person's emotions over a period of time and that's the project i did and you can work on it later on if you guys are interested leave a, leave a comment in the comment section below whereby i like, built a simple web uh web application not a web application basically a simple uh program whereby you can detect the human face and then detect the emotion and then store all that data inside of a csv file and then later use that data to plot a line graph to show the person's emotions over time as time progresses right so you can do that in the upcoming videos let me know if you guys are interested uh the, in the comment section below okay so for now what i want to go ahead and do is simply uh process the video so let's go ahead and right, get the video file uh the video file that i want to use i'm going to say a uh, video uh video underscore file and the video file is going to be equals to it's going to be of type string so you can say uh, str again i have videos on type hints on my youtube channel so if you want to type hints you can check them out so i'm going to say dot dot first slash uh sorry we're going to be say dot first slash gonna be video videos yeah first slash you can call it a uh, video underscore zero one dot uh, mp4 right so basically uh video underscores uh this is gonna be underscore and not plus so underscore video one dot mp4 so once i have that i'm going to simply say face underscore the de uh detector is going to be equals to an instance of the fer so you can actually use type hints again if you want Again, I have a whole video explaining type hints on my YouTube channel, so you can actually check that video out. So and you're going to use the MTCNN equals to true. Okay. Uh, and explain what, what, what uh, MTCNN does. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to go ahead and pre process the video. So let's say pre process uh, video file. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to say uh, process, uh, process underscore video. Uh, process video is going to be equals to the following so i'm going to say video we're going to call the, the video instance that you just imported we're going to call it video and then pass in our video file and the video file is going to be the file the video file that we just loaded right so video file is going to be equals to the video file okay good so once we have that imported uh, uh once you have that done rather you're going to go ahead and simply get an analysis information from the video if you want to okay so we're going to say process 
uh, process uh, let me just call it processing uh, let me just say processing underscore data is going to be equal to the phone so we're going to say video uh, video let me get that right so actually process video we're going to work on the process video process video dot analyze and you're going to simply pass in a face detector that we have uh, which is the, uh, the instance of the fer right face emotion facial emotional recognition uh, library you're going to simply say display you're going to say display you can say display is going to be false if you want to so you can leave it to be true if you want to but i'm going to leave it to be false so once we have that done uh, let's actually run the code and let's see what we get so go back in here click the terminal and then do python is going to be a uh, video right so video uh underscore emotion fer okay run that so now let's see what we get back from this so we run the file we run the code okay so right now we are getting nothing back but basically it's analyzing the face uh, faces within the image okay so uh, once we analyze these faces within the image what you want to go ahead and do we can actually say display let's try display it's going to be true and let's see what we get so uh, let me go in here and say display is going to be of type true so let me change that to be display is going to be true just like that and we simply run the code again So once I say display is true, let's see if you're actually going to get a display of that image. So you can see the window opens up and you can it's actually dis displaying what is detecting within the image. So you can see the happiness with the mom in the video. Okay, I assume the woman, the older woman to be the mom. So you can see the older woman is mostly happy and the child uh, is going to change over time. But this is a bit uh, lagging. We have a bit of lagging because it has to process the video before displaying it. So uh, you, know, you know how uh, machine learning models work okay, and all that. I'm also using a GPU, but uh, sometimes my GPU is not so powerful. So yeah, you can see actually this de detecting the faces and then giving us uh, like the most like the data on all of that. So you can see happiness is 99, about 99 to 78% of the for the mom. And for the child, uh, I think the leading one is, uh, let me try to see closely. I think the leading one is a uh, neutral, like the child is mostly neutral most of the time. Yeah, so this is gonna be take a bit of time to do all that. So uh, that's it for this uh, for 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 displaying the content, and I'm just going to go ahead and, and simply exit out of that, and just Control C to exit out. So good. Okay, good. So once we have that, data, we can actually also actually get the data, and I told you can get the data input into a CSV file, and then do a bit of analysis on it later on. So I'm going to simply say um, we can convert this into a pandas data frame if you want to. Uh, you can do that if you want to. And then simply plot the graphs and other stuff like that if you want to uh yeah that's one way you can do it but um so if you want to convert it to i don't know if i should really show you in this video or just do it another time because the way i did it is a bit different but you can also do it using the video content of this so let me just let me just, let me just say df is going to be equals to a process uh processed video dot uh two underscore pandas right let's say dot i just have a dot function dot to csv so let's say dot to csv and then say processing uh processing data and passing the processing data so once you have that uh let's try to see so let's see what this one takes taking the file name uh any data and then finding the file the the file name which is going to be of type string so the file name is just going to be uh data dot csv so csv so once you have that, that let's actually uh this let's say display is going to be of type false in this case so that, uh, we don't waste uh, a lot of time so we can say display is going to be false and then simply run this so once we run this, we give it a bit of time and you're going to get a CSV file instead of our, uh, our code base, uh, instead of our, our files right here. We should see a CSV file if you're done. So this, ca this can take a lot of time. So you can give it a lot of time. And once you're done, you sh should be able to see a CSV file in there. Okay, so this is going to take a long, long time to do the processing. So you can see right now we are just, uh, if I look closely, so you are just 12 out of 1,600, uh, 1,682. So it's going to take a bit of time. So you might be you might need to be patient to do this. You can also actually record your camera and then feed the camera to this. Uh, it's just much faster than doing it on a video, an actual video. So yeah, that's something you can do for the future. So if you guys want to do a project like this, uh, like turn on your camera, detect the human face, detect the motion of the human face, and then be able to plot graphs in real time to show the human face, like a line graph to show, okay, is this person happy? Is this person sad? And that's actually a, pro a project I did. So uh, you guys can let me know in the comment section below uh, and I'll do my best to get back to you. So guys, uh, if you want to sub, uh, support the channel, uh, one way you can simply do it is to simply like the video, share this code to anyone who you think might find it helpful. And again, if you want to go further, you can support me uh, by buying me a coffee. The link is going to be in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Keep safe.